Okay, guys, you clicked on that link and you want to know how does this bear advance, which is bio advanced still, trend shrub protecting feed, dual action formula, guys. This formula right here is going to feed the bush tree or shrub for up to 12 months and it's also going to kill some insects. Okay, yard fanatics, a lot of times when people are feeding their lawns, they always, always, they forget about the landscape. Now, landscapes are really a little bit easier to take care of guys it's just now what i'm about to show you is so simple your 98 year old grandma could do this so guys i'm going to show you an easy way to feed these shrubs all right and we're going to also help kill off some insects at the same time now the formula you just saw me with guys that i sprayed on here that's a disease control also but it does not feed the shrub or bush. It's not a plant food. It's just gonna help prevent disease, kill off a lot of bugs, and it's gonna kill existing bug, bugs right then and there. But the one I'm gonna show you now is gonna feed the shrub or bush, and it's gonna kill off a bunch of insects at the same time. And it's gonna do it for a year. You really only have to do this once now, a year. Guys, I know I showed you the liquid this granular is so freaking easy to apply to it's just i'm not understanding why it's not a lot more people using this right here guys real easy to apply now my first time using it was last year and i'm going to admit i'm never going back to feeding it any other way this is so freaking simple guys to, it's ridiculous let me show you okay, how it guys works. you literally take the granulars and these are the granulars right here guys you simply put this around the shrub bush or hedge and water it in. It's that easy, guys. That easy. So guys, I'm gonna give you the basic installation. Make sure you read the instructions for further information. But for this one, the liquid formula, which I like the best, little bit, takes a little bit more to apply. Guys, you simply put three ounces of this liquid for every one foot of shrub you got into one gallon of water. So the only thing you're gonna need is this, a bucket, your water hose, something to measure it, and you'll also, or you may need a tape measure to do this. But this right here, all you need, read the instructions, but you're gonna need something to sprinkle it around the hedges, the shrub, and I use this top right here, and you simply just water it in. Let's do the liquid so first. I'll give you an example. This is four feet tall, all right? For every foot on here, I need three ounces of liquid per gallon of water. I would need four gallons of water, and four times three is 12. 12 ounces of that fluid mixed in with the water, and I simply would just pour it at the base or trench it. Read the directions, I'm giving you the simplest instructions. Pour it at the base, let it soak in. Best to water this before you apply the chemicals because you want the roots semi-hydrated before you start pouring it on a plant that hasn't been hydrated in weeks or months. If you're doing clusters like this, all these shrubs are together. I want to show you this down at the bottom. Each of them have their own base, all right? That's where you're going to pour it at, at the base of each one, not all in the center. Put it down at the base of each one. So technically I will have one, two, three, four, five. I will have about f five, six concoctions that I will make. Now having said you're that- You're gonna have to decide where your budget is because when you do the liquid, it's gonna cost a lot more. To me, both are effective, but the liquid seems to get in the system faster because you're literally pouring it in on the roots Whereas the other one, you got to rely on watering it in, in hopes that it, it, it in hopes that it get, bypasses the pine straw, mulch, or rocks or whatever you have down there. Now, it can now get guys, it. when you're doing multiple bushes, this thing actually comes with a, a, a measuring cap, but it's only eight ounces. All right. So when I'm doing multiple bushes, I had to step it up to a bigger container like this right here. That one four, four foot tall bush is going to require 12 ounces of liquid. So I'll let you see me pour that in there. Make sure you get us a good shake also, guys. And one of the things I wish they would have on this also is a meter on the side 
but they don't. Guys, I am going to stress, read those directions before you start pouring this stuff. So I'm opening it up. It had a little safety seal on it, and I want to put 12 ounces of this liquid into my measuring cup. All right. Guys, before I start, I know I'm going to need four gallons of water for that one particular bush. What happens if I use five gallons DYD? It's, it's just going to be a little bit more dil diluted, but follow the label directions for the best results. I'm going to go ahead and put two gallons of water in here. And the I reason I want to go ahead and put a couple of gallons in there is because when I pour in the mixture, you see it's green. Like throw a bleh. Pour that in there. And guys, you can take your water hose and skeet it in there to clean it out a little bit better. When I add the other two gallons of water, it'll mix for me already. And guys, I want to stress this. Please read the label. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm doing this video in 2022. All right. In 2026, 27, somebody's going to watch this video and they're going to correct me. And you're going to think I was wrong. But the problem is the formula changes sometimes year to year. They keep adjusting the formula. So four or five years from now, it may say add only one ounce per gallon of water. Read the directions for the best results, guys. I'm only reading you what's on the label as I'm applying it in 2022. So now I got my four gallons of water, 12 ounces of liquid. And guys, I want to point out something. I got a weed block mat down here. So sometimes when you pour it, test it before to make sure it's just not going to run off. If it's going to soak up, pour it at the base of the root. <clears throat> I don't go all around it, guys. Just pour it in there. And don't rush pour it. Let it kind of soak in. Because if you look, you can see some of mine are starting trying to run out. All right, so I'll let that soak in. May hit it from another angle. I don't want none of this to seep out. All right. So I'll let you get down close to it. And you can see it soaked in. All right, guys. Now, this is the dry formula right here. When, hopefully, you can see that. DYD smell test. Don't do this at home, guys. BYD is taking a hit for you. <laughs> that little laughing effect. Almost put my nose. <laughs> Guys, this smells like coffee grinds. Okay. No vicious smell, no stink. Um, nothing that's going to make mama be pissed off when she come out like, Ooh, what's that smell? What's that smell? You're got not going to get any of that. But guys, this is so freaking easy to apply. Let me show you. Guys, I'm going to repeat this. Read the directions, but it's so simple. To apply this, like for smaller shrubs, guys, simply just sprinkle it around. They're gonna give you a certain amount, okay? But just sprinkle it around, read the directions. Stop going in the comments with that nonsense, so I'm gonna block you off the channel. But sprinkle it around right there, guys. And the next thing you do is this, but just water. <clears throat> anyway, you put that, um, that stuff, you gotta water that in, guys. Now, if you got rain coming, that's fine. What happens if you put it down and you didn't water it? Nothing, it just won't activate until you get that stuff watered in. But I'm always one to say, if, if you're gonna wait, you're, you're not getting the full benefit of it. You know, you want immediate results, uh, results faster. Water is the key. It's the key to with your yard. It's the key to your body. It's the key to your car from overheating. It's the key to everything. So none of these products are gonna work unless you water it in or you hydrate the plant before you put it down. For those you're gonna say, well, it didn't say water it. I don't care what it says, guys. Water your stuff before or after 
you do it. It's gonna work faster, believe me. It's gonna work faster. You know, it's like lotion, man. You, you don't walk out the house without putting lotion on, do you, in the wintertime? So like I said, guys, this right here, easiest to apply right here, guys. Um, I forget the price. I think this is cheaper, too. Um, then the liquid that liquid can get costly right here, but it tells you right there guys sprinkle at the base of the plant guys And let mother nature or either you water this stuff in you did not see this video right here guys You didn't see it up front. You need to check this out too because this is a three-way killer And it's put a protective barrier on the plant to prevent future bugs from coming and it's systemic It's gonna get down and it's gonna help get rid of some of those diseases that you see on your plants or shrubs